Chainlink is about to jump. Now this has been highly requested for me to do a comprehensive breakdown for all things Chainlink, how they got started, what exactly they're doing, and whether this is a good coin to take a deeper look at and possibly invest into or not. And this is impressive. This coin is impressive. It's one of those things that it's like the deeper I dig into it, the more I'm like, wow, this makes so much sense. I love cryptos that you look into and you're like, this should already be a thing. And also coming from a more traditional investing background where I'm looking at companies and trying to build models based on their cash flows or their profits and, and looking, at, looking at future expectations that way, I really try to look at coins and find coins that have very strong use cases that solve expensive problems. And I think Chainlink does exactly that. So let's get into the comprehensive breakdown here. Of course, as always, I have built a big old flow chart for the use of this video. If you're interested in downloading this flow chart, as well as all my notes for this video, go ahead and join the Patreon. You'll also get things like buy alerts, private content, private live stream, tons of things going on there. It is limited, so you'll want to join as soon as possible if you are interested. All right, so hopping in with the beginnings here for Chainlink. All right, the beginnings. How did this thing start? In 2014, 32-year-old entrepreneur Sergey Nazarov founded SmartContracts.com. Smart guy. And then Chainlink was launched three years later in September 2017, and they raised $32 million from their initial coin offering. Now, I think it's important to start with, with the beginnings, how th something started, how, th how it works, and then get into how it's going right now and build a summary at the end. Because if you're going to invest in something, I strongly believe it's important to know everything you can know about that before you put in your hard earned dollars. So what is Chainlink? Simple, it's a blockchain oracle. But what exactly does that mean? So it provides real world data to help fulfill obligations of smart contracts and it is extremely secure at doing so and extremely accurate. So to explain what exactly they're doing differently, let's back this up, set some definitions and set some real world examples. That way it's easier to, uh, to see the problems that this can solve and how Chainlink can do it better. So first off, what is a smart contract? Smart contract is a self-executed, trustless contract between two parties using the blockchain. And breaking that down a little bit further, the self-executed aspect here is the parameters are set prior to an agreement. This is the same as any contract. You, you have a contract with someone to build a deck on the back of your house for $2,000, let's say. You have a little agreement, you both sign it. It says, you build the deck, I give you $2,000. A contract is simple. A smart contract is executed as soon as the specific criteria is met. So with a regular paper contract, you know, you have this agreement, you build me a deck, I give you $2,000. After the deck is built, you pay over the $2,000. But what if you don't pay? Then the deck builder, he's screwed. So with a, a smart contract, it's executed automatically. So once the deck is built, the builder gets paid immediately. Just as kind of a small real world example. We'll get into more examples in a second here. And then the trustless aspect, the two parties need no trust between each other because the agreement is executed out of everyone's control. It, neither party, neither you or the deck builder have any power over the contract. And the blockchain has no power over the contract either. No one has power. It's irreversible and tamper proof because it's on the blockchain and a public ledger, which it just revolutionizes everything. So let's cover some examples in the real world, what smart contracts can do, because this is one of those things, smart contracts and DeFi are two things that I am so excited about with the blockchain. Just, yeah, let, let's just dive in here. <laughs> so uh, first off, purchasing anything. So a contract could be set to release funds as soon as an item is delivered, just like that deck building example that we just explained. Simple enough to understand that. Real estate. A contract could be set to transfer the title of a home immediately once funds settle. So when you buy a house, there's all sorts of paperwork, there's escrows, there's title insurance, there's all these things that could be greatly reduced. The friction could be greatly reduced and the bloat there could be greatly reduced by a self-executing contract because you don't need any trust in the system. There could be thousands of dollars saved in each and every housing purchase transaction using the blockchain, using a smart contract. 
Content creation. Now this one's really interesting because this could be used, a smart contract could be used between a content creator and a viewer. There could be a subscription service where you know you pay $10 a month for every video you watch, that creator gets something like a penny or you know something along those lines. Or just the, the need for platforms. So something like a Google Play or an Apple App Store. They get a 30, 40, 50 percent cut in some cases of app purchases and downloads. Well, you don't really need a marketplace if they're is a smart contract where you can just download this thing and there's no friction in between. Of course, networks need to be built and there has to be you know, systems and infrastructure in place and people have to know about where to go, so there's issues there. But you can see the possibilities with you know, reducing the need for platforms and middlemen. This really is just reducing middlemen and making things more efficient. You could also think of something like Uber, where why would you need Uber taking their cut between the driver and the rider, when the driver and the rider are all the pieces of the puzzle and everything, any conflicts are executed and resolved by the smart contract in between. There's a lot of exciting applications here. Here's another one, sports betting. A contract could be set to execute after a game completes. So you bet that Team A is going to win, Team A wins, you automatically get paid. There's no hassle in between. But smart contracts, as awesome as they are, they need a little bit of help in many cases. They need real world data. So something like sports betting, how does the contract know team A won the game and not team B? This is where Chainlink comes into play and this is why they are extremely exciting. So it addresses two major problems. The first one, middlemen are bloat. This is basically what we've been talking about. In the long run, middlemen get whittled down and they go away. Hey, you maggots understand that? Sir, yes sir. Bullshit, I can't hear you. Sir, yes, sir. What's your name, scumbag? Wait, and we can see this already with something like a travel agent. I mean, how many travel agents are there anymore? That, that middleman is now reduced down to a platform who charges slightly less. Or you used to actually have to call a person who is a stockbroker to buy a stock. Now you can do it for free on an app. So middlemen are constantly being whittled down and this is just one major way to do it. And then the second issue it addresses is typical oracles are centralized. And when something is centralized, if you're, if you're relying on one entity who has all the data, you are relying on the T word again, which is trust. And we want to limit how much trust we're, re we're relying on any individual or any organization. And that's where the blockchain and Chainlink comes into play. So Chainlink provides real world data through a decentralized, publicly verifiable ledger. It's completely transparent. You can see exactly what is going on and it's self-executing. So data is verified through node operators who make up the Chainlink network. Node operators are rewarded in the Link coin. Link is the native token for the Chainlink network and they're rewarded for providing that real world data and that's confirmed with other node, node operators and it is also stakeable. You can stake your link and that means it's technically an income producing asset. Baby, we love income producing assets around here. So ideas and opportunities are great and all, but how are they actually doing? What are they actually doing? Because we wanna actually see some progress towards these goals. And uh, I got some good news for you because they're doing pretty darn good. They got some crazy partnerships. So let's cover their notable partnerships. First off, they have a partnership with Oracle. Surprise, surprise, Oracle wanted a partnership with a company who has an Oracle. Anyways, Oracle has helped Chainlink with some of their technical hurdles, especially back in like 2019. They also have a full partnership with Google Cloud. So Google trusts Chainlink and believes in Chainlink. And Google, of course, is pretty forward looking in, in their enterprises and their investments. And that's something that's extremely exciting for me because I look at this and I'm like, okay, if it's good enough for Google, it's probably good enough for Max Maher. <laughs> and uh, that made me really excited to see. And they also have many DeFi players and crypto exchanges that use their data feeds. So Chainlink is kind of like the brand name for data right now on the blockchain. And it's like, if you start an exchange, you pretty much at this point have to use Chainlink. Now there's other service providers, but it's like they're the brand name and it's almost, there's some trust behind that brand name. So if we pop over to their website here, we can see some, uh, some big names that they work with. If we scroll down a little bit, we can see some big names that they work with like Celsius and these companies use 
the data for their DeFi and for their exchanges through these data feeds that show the various prices of all the coins. And there's tons of stories of these exchanges and these DeFi platforms not using Chainlink and seeing some very, very bad results with hacks and other you know, attacks and issues with their DeFi platform and not having you know, the best data feed. Now, there are many players trying to do something similar to Chainlink in this. Even Cardano is doing something similar, which I'm very, very bullish in Cardano, but they are going against the brand name right now. And who knows if they're going to be able to tackle that issue and all the other issues that they're trying to solve. So that looks, that's going to be interesting itself. That's not to say that I don't like Cardano at all. I have a very large position in Cardano relative to my other crypto positions, but it seems Chainlink by far has the head start in this area. So let's do a quick summary here. First off, use cases. We want to see if there are use cases for this coins. You know that answer. We can see a check mark there. There are obviously use cases. There's near unlimited, uh-oh. 5% left. There's near unlimited use cases with smart contracts. We're gonna have to make this quick. Money behind the use cases, because it's okay to solve problems, but if they can solve a problem, a multi-billion dollar, potentially trillion dollar problem, then of course the coin is going to be worth much, much more. And that's kind of where you want to place your money, place your bet. On, on the coins that are solving multi-billion dollar problems, of course we get a check mark there, because they're solving several, or they can help several multi-billion dollar industries, including, but not limited to, you know, title transfers like we talked, talked about brokers of all kinds, that could be stock brokers, that could be exchanges for cryptos, any kind of broker really could benefit from smart contracts and real world data, any kind of marketplace, any kind of escrow. I mean, I'm sure you can think of other, other examples. Leave them down in the comments if you have some kind of unique idea for the use of a smart contract, because it's something I'm really excited about. And they're already doing the darn thing. They already have tons of partnerships. They have a lot going for them right now. And like I said, this is a coin I am very excited about, and I can't wait to see what happens with this coin in the next few years as people realize the potential here and ultimately the price will jump up and up and up from here. So that's gonna do it for today. Check out the links in the description for the crypto exchange that I use for various offers for free crypto, free stocks. Make sure you join the Patreon because I just opened up some more spots and they go quick. I would like to thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a profitable day.